Loma Vista. Boom. Okay, I should have saved the location, but as a as a favorite. But in any case, I'm going to say that this is going to be personal, and I'm going to say this is medical and round trip. So now I have that, and let's add one more. Let's add a rule this time. I'm going to say not a rule. Let's add a, a favorite location. And let's say that Loma one's a favorite location. So I'm going to say this one is a favorite. 2002 Loma, not Lima, Loma, Loma Vista. And I'm going to say this is medical one. It's not really my favorite because I'm going to the doctor and they do horrible things to me over there and tell me that it's for my own good, which I have doubts about, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So I go anyways, any case. So now we're going to say add a trip and we're going to go 19 and we're going to go from our office to medical one personal, but this time I'm going to make it a medical trip, which could possibly be deductible as well. So we've got those different designations round trip it and boom. So there we have that. Now I'm going to enter a little bit, some data here for the following month, which is going to be May for actual data that would come through the bank feeds, right? It would come through the bank feeds. And so let's add like a bank feed type of transaction with just an expense form. The actual expenses we're going to pay for gas and whatnot. We'll just say this is the gas station that is quite high. They keep on blaming the gas station, but I know it's inflation. It's not really the gas. I'm not going to get mad at the gas station guy. It's the inflation's doing it, I feel like, but whatever. So and let's just pretend gas went up. I'll put it in there for 200 this time, or let's just say, yeah, let's just say 200. And then I'm not going to put it to any class. And then I'm going to save and new. And let's just put one more in there and let's do this one as the uh this was like the parking stuff because that's the one that could be included even if we do the mileage method so parking and fees populating automatically let's awfully high let's say it's like 150. all right so there are those let's save and close it this time and if i go on over to my my profit and loss i could run it by class but now i want to see may so i'm going to go from 05 Let's say 050123 to 0630. That's not a zero. 06323. And then I want to see it not by class, but months, month by month. So there's our June, uh, May, and June. Actually, I, I entered the other stuff before May, apparently. Let's go 010123. So I entered this stuff in January and February, and there's my June stuff. Okay, so now we're focused in uh, on June. So this is my actual expenses. So now we have a bit more complex situation with our data over here. This is my actual year to date uh, information, but I kind of want to break it out uh, and include my personal, which is the medical and the other and the, uh, and the business. So what I can do is hit my report up top and just download the trips just like we did before it opens in a csv file which we can open in excel but when you want to adjust it in excel you got to save it as an excel file or it's not going to save all your stuff that you do to it so i'm going to save it i'm going to put it into this random picture file it's going to be an excel workbook that's the point that's what you have to do so then we'll save it there and then we can pretty pretty simply put this into a table, even though it's a lot of data. So let's just see if we can put this in a table and manage it fairly easily. I'm going to make the, the top row, uh, I'm going to make bold, and then I'm going to convert this data into a table. So then I'm just going to put my cursor in it and say insert and make it into a table, please. Boom. And that in and of itself makes it fairly manageable. So now I can, if I want to see the the i'm gonna make this a little wider and these are the places we went so if i wanted and then if i want the totals down here i can add a total table and then the totals down here this is probably going to want to be a sum 
function and this is going to be a sum now if i wanted to see just the business stuff i can filter this down i can say let's see just the business like that and so now we've got the business stuff and if i wanted to see the business stuff just for the current month then i can say show me the business stuff just for uh june june get rid of may and so i can filter it down like that which is quite nice and of course i can put all the dates back and i can also filter it if i wanted to see my my information uh personal versus non-personal so i can hit the drop down and i have my personal and then i have some unreviewed stuff apparently that i didn't put in place that's not good but let me just check that out i had some unreviewed items so i'm not going to bother with that you'd want to review them all <laughs> before pulling them over but uh then if i wanted to check this out notice here it has the personal so i could say let's check out the personal stuff this way and then i can further break it out by medical versus charity which also could have some tax implications so i can hit the drop down and say i just want to see my charity miles and not the blanks and so there's the charity so that's pretty that's pretty neat we can do that with a table and we can sort this information possibly tracking our charity versus our medical and if we had you know so we could sort our data in a, in a couple different ways and you can use these filtering options for charity or medical for whatever you want as another filtering field if you want to track whatever is important to you to track under that category so that you can export the reports and see how much you drove to that category and have a log of it so i'm gonna un i'm gonna unfilter this and then the other way you can sort this data uh is with uh a a pivot table let's say i'm gonna add all this back in so you could convert this into a pivot table once you have this data might as well do because it's a nicely formatted table for a pivot table we could insert a pivot table over here and i'm gonna the whole thing i'm gonna put in the existing worksheet i'm just gonna put it on the side i gotta make sure it's on the top so i'm just gonna put it over here boom and now we can we can sort our information in a pivot table format for example we can summarize the data possibly by type I can pick up my type over here and then I want to say distance and so then it it distances it and it puts them automatically in the sum function so now it's summing up you know everything all the distances all all the miles so you get a nice tight little uh little summary data you might want to break it out by vehicle so I can break it out by vehicle and then distance so again it kind of sums it up gives you a, a little recap and a pivot table format so I clean those off. Another way you might do it is you might say that you want to break it out by date. And so now I've got the dates on the left-hand side. And maybe I want then the distance, which is now summing up in the totals. And I can see kind of the breakout uh, of the months here. So now I've got the months and uh, the totals. And then you might want to also include a filtering option, possibly by, uh, what, what did we call it? The type? The type right so now the type got pulled into to rows but maybe i want to use it as like a filtering option so now i've got the types up top here so i can say okay here's may june and then i want to filter this thing by just the business stuff boom so now that's another you know common kind of pivot cool pivot table thing you could do with data like this